What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share my thoughts on the Chris Tyson and Mr. Beast controversy. This is a really serious topic and I think it's important to speak up. Chris Tyson who was a prominent member of the Mr. Beast team is facing serious allegations. These include inappropriate interaction with the minor. Based on the discussion and the evidence that I've seen, I strongly believe that Chris might be a problem and could be a potential pedophile. He had some inappropriate interaction with some minors. He has some concerning behavior patterns that I think that are not okay. And because of these things might have a negative impact on Mr. Beast's brand. As someone with a large following, Mr. Beast has the responsibility to his audience. Keeping Chris on the team despite of serious allegations could damage his brand and send the wrong message. Mr. Beast needs to make a decisive move. In my opinion, he should fire Chris Tyson to maintain the integrity of his brand and show that such behavior won't be tolerated. Let's take a look at some TikToks discussing about this controversy. The first one is from the user Brain Freak. He was highlighting the allegation and the potential impact on Mr. Beast's brand. Let's see this video together. And that's the first video. Let's see it together. Chris Tyson from Mr. Beast used me, manipulated me, and did very inappropriate things with me while I was about 15 years old. I was actually friends with Lava GS at the time. I think this guy was a video editor from Mr. Beast, if I remember correctly. So he has some inside. Let's hear him. I'm who is the main victim of Chris that everyone has been talking about these last few days. Who claims he isn't a victim, but we all know he is, and we all know he probably got paid off. Not only that, but he's also under an NDA from when he worked for Mr. Beast Gaming for two years, and he tried to get me to join Mr. Beast Gaming himself, Lava. He's the one who actually sent me the contract and tried to get me to sign the NDA, at which point I ended our friend. So if someone has an NDA, he can't speak anything about what is happening there. Um, and maybe that was a poor try to silence him. I, I think that that was just a, a poor try to silence him because I knew they were just trying to silence me. Me and him were both initially involved in running Chris's Discord server, helping him... Uh... Okay, so he was running the Discord server, so I, I got it wrong, sorry. Set up his Twitch streams and moderating them. Nate's calling me. Hey, what's up? You're on stream. You, you just leaked your address, please, end your stream. Ooh. As well as other technical backend things that he... Wait a second. I, I really believe that was his voice, so I don't think that he's lying. Uh, the voice sounded quite exactly the same. I needed help with. This Discord server that we were a part of had about 10 people in it, most of whom were minors. I'm not sure how they got in there, other than me and Lava. He won a giveaway and Chris and Buddy. The question is why did you hold them if they are minors and they have nothing to do there? So maybe someone invited them there him after that and Chris invited me after I saw one of his tweets asking for help setting up a Gary's mod server for the 10 million subscriber Mr. Beast video. This turned in us having lots of private conversations with Chris and playing video games with him for hours on end. Not only did we do a lot of unpaid work for him that he promised he would pay us for, he would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year old. Okay, that that's the first red flag if you ask me. Uh, speaking about sexual uh, subjects with minors is wrong. It doesn't matter as long as you are an adult and you are speaking with someone minor. That's fucking wrong. Especially with him being like, I don't know, 20, 21 years old. He was 20, 21 years old and he was speaking sexual uh, subjects with minors. Okay, that's a big red flag. But Chris, in my opinion, was always a big red flag. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and hentai videos throughout the time of me talking with him. Not only that, but he had an NSFW bot in his Discord server before he made it public. So when it was just a private server, uh, his little circle of miners. And he would use this NSFW bot to spam. It's, in my opinion, that's a kind of grooming te tactic if you ask me. But let's hear what this thing corn images corn images um alongside all these 15 year olds he would also frequently call me dad and daddy as well as the others which i guess we all kind of just took as a joke <laughs> wait a second 
to us calling him daddy i mean daddy that's uh, that's wrong man this is wrong this guy should stop okay let's hear it joke at the time you have to think this is someone who we looked up to at the time we idolized we thought was the coolest person in the world so they couldn't really do any wrong in our eyes but looking back i was definitely uncomfortable uh at being called daddy by a 20 year old um and clearly 100 i would be i would be feeling the same thing i mean imagine you, you have a girl grown man telling you daddy i mean wrong 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 I would be so uncomfortable. It, even just thinking about it now, it's just uncomfortable. This server later went public and became his official Discord server, but before it did, he had me and Lava spend multiple days scrubbing this Discord server clean of all of the N-words he had sent in it, as well as his friends, as well as deleting the NSFW channels and making sure no one could see that he was spamming porn to minors. Okay, so he knew that he's wrong. Chris knew that, uh, that he's wrong and he wanted to hide his track, to cover his track. This man is just This story stupid. is so much bigger and runs so much deeper than any of you really realize. So if you want to hear more and you want a part two, let me know. And now let's hear the part two. This is part two to yesterday's video of me talking about Ava Chris Tyson and what they did to me when I was 15 years old. This video has all the proof in it, all the receipts and all the screenshots. Thanks to an old friend of mine who was a moderator in Chris's Discord server at the time, Cookie. Now, Cookie actually went ahead and downloaded logs of all the individual channels. Oh, ho, ho. dark menace. The <laughs> Chris server stuff logs. So, Chris, you got channels on Chris's server before Catch. it went public, knowing that this was kind of being covered up, and he kept the logs of it for himself. He actually reached out to me here on Twitter and I'm going to provide a lot of the screenshots backing up the claims that I made that Lava refuted. For example, I made a claim that there was an NSFW channel in the server where Chris would spam corn. Here you can see Chris talking about walking down the NSFW channel to True God I was already kidding. only. Um, by the way, this is in 2019. I was a True God and I was a minor. Not only that, but you can see me. Ah, so that user was him. Right below it, Nathan.RTX saying, this is a bad idea. So even I knew as a kid that this was a really bad idea. Here is Lava himself talking about starting the commencement of cleaning the server, word for word. I said he was talking about scrubbing the server. He says that never happened. Here you can see him talking about it, as well as me and uh, Cookie himself talking about it. I just want to make this video real quick, uh, disproving some of the claims that Lava refuted uh, and showing that they actually are true, but I actually have thousands of Discord messages to go through in these logs that I was just provided by Cookie. Shout out to him for giving me them, and I'm going to be going through them and posting an update video with some more proof. I don't know what do you think about Brain Freak, but I think he's legit. He was kind of abused from this Chris, so I'm really looking forward for the part number three from his video to see more juicy thing but as you can probably see race is kind of sick it's clear that many people are worried about the potential fallout now let's look at some tweets mr beast posted now let's see some tweet mr beast posted this on yuli 25th 2024 addressing the situation over the last few days i've become aware of the serious allegations of ava tyson's behavior online and i'm disgusted and opposed to such unacceptable acts during that time i have been focused on hiring an independent third party to conduct a true rogue investigation to ensure i have all the facts that said i've seen enough online and taken immediate actions to remove ava from the company my channel and any association with mr beast i do not condone or support any of the inappropriate actions I will allow the independent investigators the necessary time to conduct a comprehensive investigation and I will take any major actions based on their findings. This answer came after Chris was posting these tweets on Twitter. I would like to apologize for any of my past behaviors or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, uh, we are mutually decided it's best I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast 
and social media to focus on my family and mental health. So Chris was trying to tell us that he was leaving Mr. Beast in good condition with Jimmy. But as you can see from Mr. Beast's post, I think the Mr. Beast was the one that fired him. And after this post, Chris was replying on this. In the next day, on 24th Juli, Chris replied on his post, I want to add, I never groomed anyone. The person who get bought up in this accusation, Lava, has voca vocally supported that they are false. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I have hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who might feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these uh, two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In past years, I have learned that my old humor is not acceptable I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. I don't want this accusation to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I stepped away. I don't know guys, what do you think about this, but I feel that this um, apology is not an apology, it's not giving me the feeling that he wanted to apologize. And one day after this post, Mr. Beast was posting on Twitter, telling us that he fired Chris because of his behavior but let me know what do you think about this down in comments below my opinion about Chris is that he did it he has some mental problems I don't think that is acceptable as a grown man to speak with minors about the sexual subjects I don't think that it's okay to call them daddy and all other things that Chris did but that was everything for today don't forget stay away from people like Chris until next time Ciao!